So foot technique is usually a uh, second technique. And the hand technique and uh, hip technique is the main technique in judo. But many people skip the foot techniques because they are focused on sayo inage, uchimata, those techniques, big techniques. But in order to that, you have to be able to do foot techniques well to check your partner, check your opponent. So I will explain uh, who good, who Kriyashari, and Sasai Trikomiyashi, and who Chigari, and Ko Chigari. Okay, you understand? So first of all, I would like to uh, explain Gokuri Ashari. Okay? So who knows the Gokuri Ashari? This technique, Ashari. I'm sorry, uh, when I learned Judo, I didn't learn Japanese language. In the world, we use Japanese language in Judo, but not Korea. We use our own language to learn uh, judo techniques. So I don't know the name of the technique exactly in Japan. So anyway, uh, I shall write this. This is very important for your main technique. You understand? So when you do a, a Gokuri Ashari, you have to keep your balance. You know what? Judo is a balanced martial art. If you lose your balance, then you cannot control your balance, you cannot, you know, control your partner. So you have to keep your balance well all the time. Okay? So now uh, we are we're gonna practice Gokuri Ashari. One, two, three, four. You understand? So when you do this technique, you have to move your power to your foot. And the rest of your body don't need to have a power. Just move down your power to your foot like this. And you have to be able to get all your power when you sweep the ankle at the time. At the time. So most of the foot uh, techniques, when you do foot technique, you have to Point your toe. Many people make a mistake. Their toes they like this go up the toe. That's wrong. If you up to your toe, you cannot use your power. Understand? So when you do foot techniques, you have to point your toe all the time like this. Ashari and Ojigari and Ostogari, uh, Ojigari and Ostogari too. And Sasai Terikomi Ashi like this, all the time. Don't go up to your toe like this. If you up the toe, you cannot get your power. Understand? And then when you move your power to your foot, you're gonna use this foot here, like this. Not this part, this part. You see that? When you sweep the anchor, you have to get your power on your foot like this. You know, you see that my body, I don't have a power on my shoulder and chest. Only I have a power on my foot, like this. Okay? So when you sweep your left leg, your left hand, pull the sleeve down. Okay? Right foot, your right hand, just pull the sleeve down, like this. So many people make a mistake if they, when they do ashari, they stick out their hips like this, or hunch their back like this. It doesn't work. You understand? You have to straighten your body like this. Okay? Don't stick out your hips and don't hunch your back. Don't bend. It's very important. Straighten your chest. Then do like that. Okay? And you sweep your right foot, your right hand, put the sleeve down. It means like this. Like that. Okay? Do you understand? Do you have any question about it? No? Spread out. You want to do practice. Go to uh, Ashari about 30 times. Put squat down a little bit. So when you sit it, you throw it your knee. Right here. Right here. I hold it at your point. Hold it your hold it on your head. Straight your chest. Straight your chest. Good job. Okay. Just one arm. 
Mr. Hefron. Wait his leg and then sweep. So your partner being stabbed, I will get stabbed. So he tried to push me to get a stab. But two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Understand? Oh, can you tell me? One, two, three. Wait his left leg and then sweep. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, if you just uh, get a step, it's too late to sweep uh, his uh, right, right leg. That's why you have to bend your knee. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like this. That's why you have to bend your knee. If you didn't bend your knee, you cannot trick your partner. Do you understand? Okay, you want to do a shy to move backward. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, keep going. Okay. One, two, three, three. First of all, you're gonna check the steps to watch your step and then get the timing to sweep. Like that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like this. But if you get used to it, you don't need to watch your step. In competition, in competition, if you watch your step, your partner know that. What you wanna do? What you wanna do that? That's why just watch his eye and then do technique. One, two, three, like that. But now you have to watch step. One, two, three, four. So if you sweep your right foot, get down the left hand. If you do left two, like this. One, two, three, four, five. So what uh, you have to imagine to make him like that. Like this. Like this. Break him, break his balance like that. Like right? imagine. So push the slip here, the left here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like this. So first time you want to watch, you have to watch the step. If you get used to it, getting better, and then you don't need to watch the step. So don't forget to push the sleeve or wrap up when you sweep. Okay? Get your partner and then go around in a circle. <laughs> so we grab like this. We are competition in this position. At the time, I tried to put him down like this. So it is his balance. So I tried to put him, put the balance down like this, like this. So he cannot move easily because I push him down. Do you understand? You have to understand in order, in order to learn this technique. Do you understand? So if I put him down, he cannot move easily. Right? If I lift a little bit higher, he can move easily. It's just balance. Understand? So now I try to lift, lift, put him down, and then put your, my right foot behind his heel, and then hook it to this direction of his toe. Right? It, it is not Ippon technique. It is uh, just a Yuko or Wazari techniques, like this. Like this. It's very simple, but if you use his balance, understand, you can throw him without the uh, you know big power. You're gonna use less power to get the point. You know, judo means if you use all your power with your partner, it is not technique. It is your just power and strength. <coughs> Who knows that? How different between wrestling and judo? Who knows? Nobody know? You know, in wrestling, small guy cannot beat big guy in the same weight division or whatever. They cannot beat them, the small guy. But in judo, small guy can beat big guy. 
Why? For techniques. No. Oh. We use yes. We use the speed and strength again. Ah, uh, similar. Yeah. <laughs> we use balance. Oh. We don't use only strength. Think about pushing, push. He push me, push my hand, but I don't need to again your partner. If you push it, me, I grab it and then pull it and then do your technique. If we try to pull it, pull me. Pull me, don't try to, you know, use your power like that. Just push it and then do your technique. That's why small guy can beat big guy in judo. But in wrestling, it's different. They use their power all the time against their partner. It is wrestling. That's why judo is science. You know? So think about it. So you have to know how to move your partner's balance all the time. You have to aware that. So don't waste your energy. If you use your lot of energy, it is not taking your strength. Okay, now grab here and then put him down. So put your weight on him like this like this, so he cannot move. And then put here, it, so it, it makes, I make him not to move. And then hook it like this. Do you know the, when you cut the tree, small cut the tree, at once, you gather your all power at once. Understand? So you're gonna use your foot like that. Gather all your power at once, you know, second. Think about the, you know, paper. When you tear the paper, you have to get all your power when you touch the paper. But if you have too much power from here, you cannot tear the paper. Think about it, the principle. Put here, you do that. And then you throw it without the big power. Do you understand? Right now, get your partner, one of them stand the left, and one of them stand the right. And they put your weight on him, and they put him down, they put your right foot behind his uh, heel, and the direction is here to tour. And then do that. Like this. Understand, kid? Alright, get your partner and spread out, practice. Yeah. Five or seven minutes. Yeah. <laughs> His leg, so it doesn't work. At the time, if you read, follow him, and then do. Do you understand? So if your partner lifts his leg like that, so you didn't print down enough. So you put here, you lift it slowly, slowly, and then put that, follow his leg. Try again. Like that, and then push him back. Understand? If you don't put him down completely enough, he can lift his leg. So if you put your foot behind his here, and then follow his hand, and then push him down. Like this. Do you understand? Just practice. I'm going to give you five minutes. Those things too. Thank you. Like this. If I do a, a shorty, he lift his leg. Like that. Like that. Right? At the time you print down. Do that. One. One, two. Understand? One. One. One, two. Understand? It's kind of, uh, you know, timing. Judo needs a good timing. And then you're going to use his brain, what, he, what he's thinking. He thinks that I try to do a short strongly. Right? But I just start, stop. I stopped my foot here, like that. And then do that. If you keep going to sweeping, it takes a long time to move back to sweep. It doesn't work. So. Stopped. Just stopped. Stopped. Just stimulate his leg like that. And then do it. 
Or think about it. If I hit the, his leg, but he didn't move, they had the power. He's defending like this. Then put here, and do that. Understand? So you have to decide what techniques you will use instinctively. It's very important. Depends on how he is defend. If he got a power, right there, and put down and then do that. Right? But if you lift, lift his leg and then do that. So you have to read his mind before he <laughs> do his, you know, performance. You have to be able to do that. So you wanna, if you want to be good to the car, you have to be able to read his mind. Then you want to use his balance too. So right now, you want to practice one, two. All right? Just one, two. So second step, you have to pull the sleeve and left hand down. One, two. First, up, and second, down. One, two. Like this. Understand? Okay, I'm gonna give you seven minutes. Practice this way of sharing with your partner. Shari, when your partner pushes you, at the time you're gonna do a shari when you move backward. Side two. One, two, three. Oh, there you are, kid. We're gonna practice to side. All right. Right? One, one, two, three. Okay? So uh, many kids make a mistake to have a power on their foot. I told you, point your toe. If you up the, your toe, you cannot gather your power. So point your toe all the time like this. Okay? So uh, head round. Practice to ashari to move to side. One, two, three. So first of all, you want to do slowly. And then you have to feel the rhythm. One, two, three. Next step, one, two, three. To control the steps with your partner. Okay? So half round each person. Thank you. Half round. <laughs> Straight your body. Don't bend your body. Don't shoot out your hips. Okay? One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. So you have to make him move where you want to move him for a shari. Do you understand? You can, you, you're going to make your own step. It's my step. It's up to you. If you wanna, you wanna copy my step, or you can make your own step. One, two, three, four, five. Four, one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. So you have to make it move for your ashari. Do you understand? Okay, spread out, and then don't forget, point your toe straight your body, okay? And then you have to push the sleeve when you sweep. It's very important, okay? It is foot technique. Foot technique means your foot load is more important than less of your body. But you have to still use your hand to break its balance, all right? You have to use a hand too. Help your foot. This is not only foot. Okay, like this. One, two. Break its balance like this to use your hand. Four, one, two, three, four, like that. So you want to use your hand to break its balance too. Help your foot. Okay? Get your partner, just spread out. Make it move for your techniques. We grab like this. We are competition in this position. At the time, I tried to put him down like this. So 
it is his balance. So I try to put him, put the balance down like this, like this. So he cannot move easily because I push him down. Do you understand? You have to understand in order, in order to learn this technique. Do you understand? So if I put him down, he cannot move easily, right? If I lift a little bit higher, he can move easily. It's just balance. Understand? So now I try to lift, lift. put him down. And then put your, my right foot behind his heel and then hook it to this direction of his toe. Right? It, it is not Ippon technique, it is just Yuko or Wazari techniques. Like this. Like this. It's very simple, but if you use his balance, understand, you can throw him without the you know big power. You're gonna use less power to get the point. You know, judo means if you use all your power with your partner, it is not technique. It is your just power and strength. Who knows that? How different between wrestling and judo? Who knows? Nobody know? You know, in wrestling, small guy cannot beat big guy in the same weight division or whatever. They cannot beat them, the small guy. But in judo, small guy can beat big guy. Why? For techniques? No. We use, yes. Use the speed and strength again? Ah, uh, similar. We use balance. We don't use only strength. Think about pushing, pushing. He pushed me, push my hand, but I don't need to again your partner. If you push it, me, I grab it and then pull it and then do your technique. If we try to pull it, pull me. Pull me, don't try to, you know, use your power like that. Just push it and then do your technique. That's why small guy can beat big guy in judo. But in wrestling, it's different. They use their power all the time against their partner. It is wrestling. That's why judo is science. You know? So think about it. So you have to know how to move your partner's balance all the time. You have to aware of that. So don't waste your energy. If you use your lot of energy, it is not taking your strength. Okay, now grab here and then put him down. So put your weight on him like this. Like this. So he cannot move. And then put here. So it, it makes I make him not to move. And then Okay, like this. Do you know the when you cut the tree, small cut the tree at once, you gather your all power at once. Understand? So you're gonna use your foot like that. Gather all your power at once, you know, second. Think about the you know paper. When you tear the paper, you have to gather all your power when you touch the paper. But if you have too much power from here, you cannot tear the paper. Think about it, the principle. Put here, you do that. And then you throw it without the big power. Do you understand? Right now, get your partner. One of them stand the left, and one of them stand the right. And then put your weight on him, and then put him down. Then put your right foot behind his uh, heel, and then the direction is here to and then do that, like this. Understand, kid? All right, get your partner and spread out, practice, get. Five or seven minutes, practice this. Yeah. Okay. His leg, so it doesn't work. At the time, if you read, follow him, and then do. Do you understand? So if your partner lifts his leg like that, 
So you didn't print down enough. So you put here, you lift it slowly, slowly, and then put that, follow his leg, try again, like that, and then push him back. Understand? If you don't put him down completely enough, he can lift his leg. So if you put your foot behind his here, and then follow his him, and then push him down, like this. Do you understand? Just to practice. I'm going to give you five minutes. Those things too. Thank you. Like this. If I do a, a shoddy, he lifts his leg. Like that. Like that. Right? At the time you print down. Do that. One. One, two. Understand? One. One. One, two. Understand? It's kind of, uh, you know, timing. Judo needs a good timing. And then you want to use his brain, what, he, what he's thinking. He thinks that I try to do a shot strongly. Right? But I just stand here, stop. I stopped my foot here, like that. And then do that. If you keep going to sweeping, it takes a long time to move back to sweep. It doesn't work. So stop. Just stop. Stop. Just stimulate his leg like that. And then do. Or think about it. If I hit the, his leg, but he didn't move, they had the power. He's defending like this. Then put here and do that. Understand? So you have to. Decide what techniques you will use instinctively. It's very important. Depends on how he is defend. If he got a power, like that, and put down and do that. Right? But if you lift, lift his leg and then do that. So you have to read his mind before he <laughs> do his, you know, performance. You have to be able to do that. So you wanna, if you want to be good to the car, you have to be able to read his mind. Then you want to use his balance too. So right now, you want to practice one, two. Right? Just one, two. So second step, you have to pull the sleeve and left hand down. One, two. First, up, and second, down. One, two, like this. Understand? Okay, I'm gonna give you seven minutes. Practice this way of a shari with your partner. You know, many uh, uh, athletes and middle school students, elementary school students, high school students try to copy the high level athletes techniques, Olympian techniques, without their foundation judo techniques, judo knowledge. That's why they have a bad habit. When they got a black belt, they cannot fix their bad forms. You don't need to copy high level athletes judo techniques. Right now you have to focus on very, very raw basic techniques, foundations. You have to have a strong foundation of each techniques right now. Don't forget, just remember how to do it. Do you understand? Okay, the step is one, two, three, four, five. I told you, move all foot techniques require to get point on your toe. Don't go up to your toe like this all the time. Just point your toe all the time. So you can move your power down to your foot. It is foot techniques, right? Your foot is most important in your body. You understand? So one, two, three, four. When you get, this is your balance leg. So balance leg, this is a sweep leg. So this is balance leg. When you get the balance leg step, don't pass your left foot. Before, 
in front of your left leg, foot, turn your heels like this, and then bend your knee, and then block your partner's steps. It is Sasai uh, Trikomiyashi. You know what? Uh, where power comes from in judo? Leg? Yeah, most of the right answer. Lower balance. Your power comes from lower balance. How to get lower balance? Bend your legs. Yes, correct. Bend your knees. Think about it. If you straight your knee, you cannot use your power anymore. So if I have to lift my partner, I have to bend my knee. And then I can lift my partner. If I strain my knee, I cannot lift him. I have to use my only my arm's strength like this. So he's lighter than me. I'm heavier than me, him. But if I use only my arm, it's very difficult to lift him. Right? You understand? But if I bend my knee, I can lift him easily. So power comes from lower balance than your partner. So you have to have a lower balance than your opponent all the time. All the time. All techniques. Uchimata, Seyo Inage, Ochigari, Gochigari, everything. Do you understand? So you have to have a lower balance to have a you know, bad journey. Understand? So food technique is especially very important. So one, two, when you get your uh, balanced foot to get step, bend your knee like that, like this, okay? And if you turn your heels, bend your knee. One, two, three, four, and then block it. And the hand, move your hand like this. So think about the tornado, you know. You have to move your hand like a tornado. Go up. Right? Yes, you know. In a spiral. Right? So move your hand like this. Most of the techniques require like that. Say you're not get to move your hand like this. Uchimata to Hayatoshi to Harai to. You're gonna move your hand like this. Like in a spiral. It's a tornado like this. One, one. Two, three, four, five, and then move your hand like this. When you move your hand at the time, straight your leg like this. Right? Do you understand? And you have to turn your body in a spiral with your partner. If you try, if you stay away from partner, you cannot move your power on your partner. You have to turn your body with your partner like this. Like that. So if you stay away, it doesn't work. Right? So think about the stick, big stick. If you grab the edge of the stick, if you try to lift it, it's hard. But if you grab the closest one, you can lift the stick easily. So if you stay from away from your partner, you can move him easily, close to him, and then turn his in, turn him in a spiral. You can you know, count him with your with you easily. One, two, three, four, five. So put your eye on your left hand. So move your head with your hand together. One, two, three, four, five. Like this. So many people make a mistake to move backward. Right there. That's why they are car attacked by your partner. They grab the leg, something like that, right? Don't move backward like this. You have to spin your body with your partner. One, two, three, four, five. So you have to put your balance in the middle all the time. If you move your body in for right or left, forward, backward, which means that you lose your balance. So you cannot control your partner's balance too. So you cannot throw your partner. Okay, put your balance in the middle all the time. One, two, three, four. So I put my balance in the middle right there. 
Okay, don't move backward, don't lean left, right, everywhere. Do you understand? And then we spread out and then do a satellite recomiage while moving you know, around in a circle on the map. One, two, three, four, five, and then move around. Okay, move. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Understand? Focus on your foot, hand, body, and your knee, everything. Keep going. You know, be careful. When you grab the sleeve, you have to sleeve on the all the time. If you grab the above, the wrist or forearm, it doesn't work. It doesn't pull the sleeve correctly. You have to grab the sleeve on the all the time. All right? Understand? And when you pull the sleeve up, you have to use your wrist. You have to use, use, use wrist like this. Right there. Turn your wrist like this. Because you have to be able to use your big muscles then small muscles for your technique. You know which muscle be kept? Strong muscles compared to front or back between. You know, back muscles are much more stronger than front muscles. So you have to use back muscles all the time to pull your partner. So if you turn your wrist, you're gonna use, you know, this muscle. It is biggest muscle of your body, right? Except in you know, your leg. So you have to be able to use bang muscles on your wrist to pull the sleeve like this. If you don't, if you don't pull the sleeve, you use this, you know, shoulder muscle and the forearm muscle. It doesn't work well. You're gonna use big muscles on your wrist like that. Okay? And grab the record here. One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. One, two, three, four, five, and then two. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Then put your eye on your left hand. One, two, three, four, five. Then try to pull him up. So you have to make him like that. Like this. Like that. Like that. And the block is that. The pull the sleeve up, the turn your wrist, and move your hand together with your head. Okay? Do you understand? Right, get your partner. Practice your side. So your partner make me, uh, make me comfortable. If you grab here, he, you know, interrupt my techniques without knowing. I cannot pull the sleeve higher as I as I can. It's blocked it. So grab here and then help my muscle to pull the sleeve up. Don't grab the left hand if you practice when you practice this technique. Like this. If you grab here, left hand, I can pull the sleeve. So grab right here, I can do higher. Okay? Don't grab the red hair now. Just grab the sleeve to help your partner. Thank you. It is common happening. When you do sasai trikomiyashi, you will be uh, car attacked by your partner. Right now, we're gonna pra we practiced sasai trikomiyashi to grab the sleeve and then block it. If you grab the, his right sleeve, you block his right foot. But well, uh, many uh, athletes uh, do sasai, uh, uh, sasai trikomiyashi opposite way. They do block right foot to grab the, uh, the they block the left foot of your partner. But they grab the right sleeve like this. So they grab my leg. 
and then do color test. That's why they make a mistake. They are color tested by uh, your pattern a lot. So it is, that's why we practice to uh, grab the sleeve and then grab his right foot like that. So he cannot grab the my leg. But if you do like this, he grabbed my leg. Do you understand why? But when you grab here, we're going to use Sasa Turku Mash. But sometimes we have to do right side, south side. At the time, you grab here, right, 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 right. At the time, put your left foot inside, block his right foot, like that. And then, bend your knee, like this. And you, when you're stepping, you have to bend your knee like this, like that. And then, straight your body, like this, to lift your partner. Like this, like this. Then do like this. So it is kind of lift. You have to feel kind of lifting him, right? We do a satay trikumash like this, like kind of rolling. But in this time, you have to feel kind of lift your partner to straight your chest, like this. Okay, straight. Right there. Do you understand? So you have to straight your chest like this. Get the power stepping strongly, not lightly like this. Okay? When you, yeah, most of uh, uh, judoka, when you do uh, hochikomi, they do like this. Like this. Means that they have to have strong balanced foot like this. They it doesn't move, kind of. They feel like that's why they get the big step, strong step, heavy step. In this time, same. You have to get strong step, and then you know you're gonna use the this happening or I don't know the expression like this. Right? So if you get the strong step, you can lift him a little bit easier. Then get the step right away. Understand? One, two. Straight your chest. Step in, straight your chest. One, two. So he cannot grab the my leg. Even he grabbed my leg, it doesn't matter because I lift him. But if you put here and do, I cannot lift him. Kind of roaring. So he grabbed my leg and then he kind of hit me. That's why you put, you have to step in like this. Like this. So he completely blocked his weight, his balance. And you can lift him easily. And then sweep it to throw him. It's kind of, it's an ippon technique, it's not a yukko wazari technique, it is ippon technique. You have to lift him and do that. Understand, kid? I don't know, I cannot read your face whether you understand or not. <laughs> Please, say understand or no. Understand? Hi. 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 Uh, thank you. You're, you don't have expression. I'm not a monkey. <laughs> okay? So if you doubt something, just ask me, don't hesitate. Okay? Better than nothing. All right, spread out. Don't, don't go in, around in a fast variation of the satay dirkumiyashi. When you grab like that, you have to, you want to do a satay dirkumiyashi. At the time, you're going to move your hand here. Move your hand like that. And control his arm from shoulder to elbow with your arm. All right, right here, and then like that. Move your hand and then put him to your chest like this. So you control his 
this part, this part, understand? This part completely. Understand? So you pull, pull the sleeve to your chest. So you he, uh, you control this part completely. So he cannot use the power this part. Understand? So move your hand like this, and then get a back step. One, 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 two, three. Okay? So you control his arm so he cannot grab my leg. So you don't need to worry about car attack. Understand? But if you don't control this arm like this, he grabbed my leg. So you will move your head like this. You grab it. One, two, three. Okay? Understand? So two ways. You can block ankle or knee. It's up to you. So right here, move. One, two, three. So it is not an Ifong technique. It is a Yuko or Wazari technique. So you feel kind of low your partner. Don't try to throw him. Just feel to lower him like that. So you can get a Yuko or Wazari. So key point, you have to control his arm like that. And then one, two, three. Understand? Understand? Okay. Hi. Hi. Spread out, practice this style. How to control their partner's balance. That's why they can lift their partner. Like uh, right here, and then when you do that, one, two, three. Hold him, do that, and then push him and then follow him. So he can do that. It, we have a lot of different style of techniques. But it is basic. You have to know the foundation. So somebody can lift their foot, but you have to dry it up. Don't lift your foot now. Just scratch on the mat with your foot. All right? And grab the sleeve here, and then pull the sleeve this way. This way. Many people make a mistake, put the sleeve up, which means that I will cut, I'm going to be cut attack. Don't put the sleeve up, down. Think about it. This is a ojigari. Means that you have to make him down. Make him down and then cut the leg. It is ojigari. But many people put the sleeve up and then do cut attack. It's, that's why they lose the point. So pull the sleeve and then down. And you grab the red pad, pull over the shoulder. And then like this. In a diagonal, like that. This way. Not direct backward and forward. Diagonal, like this. Front and backward. Diagonal. Pull the sleeve in a diagonal, down, over the shoulder. So his balance is in the middle. So he cannot move at the time and sweep the leg. Understand? Understand? So now, you're going to grab the slip here, be passing over up here. And then grab the wrapper here. One, two, three, four, five. And then do that. You're going to sweep it. One, two, three, four, five, like this. Do that. One, two, three, four, five. Do that. All right? Pull the sleeve down. Pull the left hand over the shoulder, like this. And then make a big circle like this. OK? Understand? Get your partner now. Go around. One, one two, three, four. Like this, okay? Like that. Like that. All right? Watch my foot. Turn your left foot. One, two, three, and then pull him to 
your chest and bend your knee way for his left leg and then sweep it. One, two, three, four, five. All right? So uh, when you do, when you, when you with the uh, ashari, practice ashari, we wait for the leg to bend my knee and then sweep it. The same principle. One, two, three, and then pull him to your chest strongly and then weight his left leg and then push him and then do sweeping. One, two, three, four, five. So turn your body, turn your body a little bit. Turn your foot a little bit. One, two, three, and bend your knee, and then sweep it. Understand? It's the same way. Pull the sleeve down to in a diagonal. To pull the left pedal over the shoulder in a diagonal to back. Understand? Right. Okay, get your partner. Right side, see in a competition. At the time, I tried to move to left to do a Wosugari or Ujimata high wash. So he wants to do two. He wants to do Seiwinage or Tayatoshi, Wosugari two. So he has to do move like this. Like this. We're going to do the that. At the time, put your foot here to block his way like this. And then follow the do like this. Understand? So I block his way. Put my foot here. Right? Like this. The follow, they do this. In order to do that, you have to make him down. So if if you put him down like this, he cannot move. Not easy. Right? Like this. That's why he cannot move. Even though he knows I put my foot beside of his foot. Because I put him down. Right? Like this, hold, follow him, and then do that. Just push. So you're gonna move your power and balance like that. This way. This way. Pull like this. Like this. And then push him and do that. Understand? You have to know the way. Way where you move with your partner. You have to know the way where you block his way. So simple is very easy, but you're going to use the simple way to throw your partner is not easy. So you have to know the way of judo, of your techniques. So right now, you try to move left. I'm trying to move left too. So print down and put your foot here and push him and do that. And then you can throw it. Understand? So, um, mostly when I have uh, judo clinics, at the time I want people to understand the principle of each way, each techniques. You you make a great posture to practice to do, you know, ochigomi. Uh, but I want you understand the principle of my way of judo, my style of judo. Do you understand how to move your balance, weight, and power with your partner? You have to make him, so you have to make him move his balance like this. And then block it, and then hook it. You understand? Question? No? Okay, find your partner, practice this, I'm gonna give you. Uh, I got a few questions from a few people. But you know, judo doesn't have a right answer, completely. If you ask me, if somebody asks me something, which is the same thing, everybody have a different answer. But we have a right answer about basic things, basic things. Right? So if you understand basic way, you can use the basic way to choose the other situation, the other things, whatever you want. Do you understand? And you can make your own way. You can create your own techniques, your own style. But in order to do that, you have to understand the way. Okay? 
right next to you, the path is a little different way. So uh, I'm on, on the right side, he's on the left side, right here. You can print out, the put here, and they do that, same way. It's an easy one, then equal, okay? Print down, and they put your foot here and behind the hips, and then hook the uh, hair to this direction, right there. This direction, okay? So many people try to hook it like that, it doesn't work. Just follow the toes, like this, okay? So I saw uh, somebody to lift their leg like this when the partner do this technique, which means that he didn't make him down. That's why he can lift his leg like this, all right? If you do this technique correctly, he cannot move his leg. Do you understand what I mean? So, put it down, you put it here, and you do that. It's kind of a cut the, you know, under. All right? So practice this way. And then, if you, after this practicing, <coughs> so he try to lift his leg, like this. Try again. Like this. If I do like this, this. At the time, follow. Follow his uh, way. Slow. Lift. Follow. And two, and then there. Or, put it slow. Lift here, you hook the knee, and then two. And then, to get a yuko or wazar instead of a goka or yuko, you can get a high, one higher score. Two, hook the bang, two. Throw him strong, right there. Slow. Put here, you follow, hook, and then, do that. Throw together. Understand? So you're going to practice both ways. Put here, I like to grab here. So if I grab the red pad, my partner thinks that I didn't do any techniques. I couldn't. That's why I can print out and do that. All right? Understand? You know, we, we, we have many ways to do, you know, technique from one technique. It, it is also my favorite here. Do that. Put the there's a hand thing, and then do that, and throw that. Many ways. You can create your own way. Just I teach you my way simply. Understand? So right now, put here, and then hook it. And your second, lift, and then follow, and then do that. Or right side. Right side too. That, lift his arm, or leg, leg, follow, do that. Understand? Just if your partner try to lift their leg, just attach the, your foot to his ankle and then push him. Both ways. I'm going to give you three or four minutes practice this way. So, last word here. From here, leg, his left side and right side. If you do a long way out shorty, look like this. Like this. Like this. So he just to touch. So here, lightly, like this. So here, lift, like this, like that. Okay? All right? So you just stop it. Stop it. Don't sweep, keep going. Don't sweep it completely. Just stop. Stop. Okay? So you have to save your time. If you sweep completely, it takes a long time to go back. Just stop, right here. At the time, you have to push him like this. Push him. One, two, okay? One, two, like this. So when I touch his hair, he thinks that I try to do my shawty, do my best. So he lift his, lift his leg, which means that he move his balance to right, from left. So I, he try, when he tried to move his balance from left to right, at the time, I push him, help him to move right, and then do, you know, Ashari. One, two. When I touch, he move, right, right now he move his balance to right. At the time, push him, and then do that. Right? One, two. Okay? But if he, 
Dog, if he doesn't lift his leg like this, to defend like this, put down. Put down. Alright? You want to test him what kind of defense he uses. And then attack him instinctively right away. Sometimes, you know, best athletes means that their nervous system, muscle system, body is faster than their brain in judo. Right? So what they say, they don't need to think about what to do. Just today, you said that we, we have a lot of brains on, on our body. Hand, foot, everybody. We can sense it. So right away, I can feel that where his body is faster than brain. So I touch it, he didn't move, and then do that right away. But if we lift his leg like that, I'm going to do this technique. Understand? All right. Thank you. Keep going. I'm going to uh, Seiyo Inagi. Okay? Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a comedian. I'm serious black belt guy. <laughs> okay, I'll be sure. Some, I need somebody to pull one. So, uh, I want to skip the Ojigari and uh, Gojigari. It's very simple, too simple. So you don't need to learn Ojigari and uh, Gojigari. You should learn from your teacher. I, I have no idea what to do. So just skip it and then do seiyunage. So uh, you know many people do seiyunage as uh, their main techniques, but the way they do is different. So uh, um, do you know uh, John Gyeong who got a gold medal in Olympics, Atlanta Olympics, on the 86 kilogram, and three times world champion? He and I went to the same elementary school, same middle school, same high school. But we have a totally different idea of Seiyunage. He does, he did uh, Seiyunage as a, his main technique. But we learned Seiyunage from one teacher for many, about 10, 12 years. Understand? Sometimes he is, a, he is a professor of Yongin University with me. We met. His a, he is a rep is right next to me. So meet many times to argue. Your form is wrong. No, your form is wrong. <laughs> yes, our teacher is wrong. <laughs> anyway. So uh, when you do, uh, I'm going to explain uh, Moroto Seiyunage first. So I want to just uh, point, key point. I want to just key point. So uh, I don't want to explain the basic things. We have just only uh, uh, 50 minutes, 45 minutes. So I want to just keep point. Grab here and then grab here. So many people, they don't know where grab the red pad. So the proper way is here in the middle. Somebody grab here. If you grab like that, your elbow has a problem. Many athletes have a problem on their elbow to do seiyunage. This is a kind of stick between us. Like that. So if you grab here, you cannot break his balance easily. That's why here, in the middle. And the key point is a basic way, just turn your wrist and elbow, put your forearm into a armpit like this, in a middle, right middle, is a foundation. But many athletes have problem to do it. The elbow and wrist. So, uh, John and I roll our wrist and elbow. And we didn't put form into armpit. It is not necessary we say that. Just roll and then put here, around elbow, here. So even we have a, a lot of rooms, it is not, it is not necessary. But our teacher, many teachers still, Put your form into armpit all the time, like this. 
is a reinforce for your body and his body for your technique, but your elbow and wrist will be injured. That's why John and I roll our wrist and then put the form to elbow so uh, they can reduce the you know, chance to damage on their elbow and wrist here, right here. This is the first point. Okay? Don't forget. This is my way. I don't force you to do my way. Just to I'll let you know. Just roll here like this. So, like that. I have rooms, but it's not a correct way. If somebody watch it, it's not a correct. Who are, you know, eighth, ninth down. Like this. Okay, it's a first. I don't need to explain pull, pull the silver higher in a spiral and turn your head. I don't need to explain this technique. I want to I want to save your time. Okay, the first roll your elbow. Second, when many people they when they turn their hips like that, turn their hips, they turn hip directly like this, like this. So it takes a long time. So your partner. Realized easily. Oh, you want to do more to say I'm going to defend like that, or this like that. You have to save time, which means that you're going to use less power to throw him. Or you're going to take uh, timing, perfect timing, so faster than him, or one step slower than him to take a timing. Don't need to against the power each other. Avoid the power. Sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's slow. Best timing is, okay, defend. Defend, stop, stop. Right now, make him in this posture and do your technique. Which means that he uses all power to defend. After that, he cannot move. He cannot use his power because he has all his power already. And then do your technique. It's best timing. Okay, I will explain this timing after. Now, put your right here and then turn your hips like that. Don't turn hips like this. Like this. Okay, put your hips like this. And turn your body hips like directly. So you can save around the 0 0.5 second. We measured it in the RAM, in the RAM. You know what? The, our universe has a martial arts college, judo department. We research for judo many times. So we measured it, how long it takes, how, 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 how long we saved the time. Around 0.45. Which means it's a very short time? No, it takes a long time between us. So put your right foot and then turn your hip like this. Like that. In order to that, you have to be what? Very, very flexible. You know, Jews, what is Jew meaning? Soft. Soft. Ah, soft. Flexible. Flexible is flexibility. Flexible is correct. So flexible person, flexibility person has a lot of advantage against big guy, even though they are weak compared to the other person in the same weight division. Because they can use 110% power. But somebody is very strong, but stiff, they use only 80% of his own power. That's why you have to be flexible. Flexible very, very important. So uh, John is one of the best flexible judo players in South Korea. So he <coughs> saved 0 0.6 or 7 times compared to turning his body, his hip directly. It's amazing, isn't it? So I know who is flexible, who is not flexible. Most of them are, I think, <laughs> stiff. <laughs> but just try to write that. One, two, and then throw. Right? <coughs> I don't use my body unnecessary, uh, which means that necessary, you know. 
If you turn your head like that, you waste your time, energy, a lot of things. So he well easily. Just turn your hips directly. So I black block his hip with my hip easily. So he cannot move. There's a second point. Don't turn your hips directly. Just like that. Right that. Right that. Understand? So you, if you try to practice this way, some first of all, you are very uncomfortable like that. Right that. Right that. But one day it's easy. Your muscle stretched because we practice a lot. You must create for seo inage. You have to if you don't do that. Okay? It is the second point of moroto seo inage. So if you turn your hip right there, you block his hip completely. If you turn your hip direct, it's just you know precise way. <coughs> We, when we learn saving nage, first we just practice like that. One, two, three, four. Just correct the form. Just straight. But if you turn your hips like that, you know, block his hip about this. Okay? That's why this way is better than before. So many athletes try to do that, but they can't because of body time, flexibility, and stiff. But if you practice this way continually, you will get the muscle for this technique. Okay? And then third, get the timing. So when you do morto seyonage, you have to use your wrist and knee to trick him, to deceive him, to catch the timing. Right there. Just keep it. I'm going to do uh, multiple saying I get defense. Use your wrist and knee right there. And then do like this. Make him not move and then do say we nage. If you so he has a natural posture. You can move everywhere right away, right there, right there, right? But if it's too stiff, he cannot move easily. He's stopped, kind of. At the time, you're going to do your techniques. All techniques, too. Gojigari, too. Try to do Moroto Seyonage, he's different. And then do Gojigari. Because I can make him like that. He thinks that he tried to defend Moroto Seyonage. But I do go Jigari. It is perfect timing. Sometimes I'm faster than him, sometimes I'm slower than him. Right? Slower than him means that when I do Uchimata, so I try to Uchimata defend. But I can. We meet the in the middle of power, right? Like that. But Slow means do that. Do. I I have a one tempo slow than normal, right? Do that. And then do that. Easily. Best technique means that you have to be able to use less power to throw your partner. It is technique. If you use all your power to beat your opponent, it's not a technique, it's just a power. So now, he has a hundred power. I have a hundred power. But fight, same. But if I try to do ultimata, he uses a hundred power. And lose his power, I do 50 my power. I can throw him, it is technique, it is timing. Catch the time. I told you the story. Who didn't have a precise technique? He did this happening well. He got a perfect time all the time. 
even though he has, even though he doesn't have a precise technique, he can throw because he's going to use this timing well. Understand what I mean? So now you're going to practice more the seonage to focus on roll your wrist and elbow to like that to protect your elbow and wrist, and the second turn your hips like that to save your time to block his hips too. And the third, you got a time. One, two, use your wrist and elbow, like uh, mean, right there. And then, two, like this. Understand? Do you have any question about it? Yeah. Your first step, your toes are pointing that way? Uh, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal? Yeah, okay. it's not important. Because just to you know, sometimes here, or here, or here, you know, I can move everywhere. So if you, it's not a big thing. If you focus on your toes, you cannot focus on your important things like elbow and knee. So you have to focus on this or get a timing. It's very important. That's a good question too. Do you have a question? Sorry. If you don't have a question, practice three points. Your elbow, your hips, and the union wrist to use your union wrist to get a timing. Okay? Yeah, same time. One. One, two is wrong. 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 Same. Okay? I'm not a disabled. <laughs> same. Okay? I'm healthy. Don't laugh at me. Okay? <laughs> All right? All right, I'm going to give you a 10 or 15 minutes practice the three points. Left arm, pull the outer left arm forward. Many people try to move their forward to up it directly. I didn't do that. Just pull the left arm forward and roll your wrist and forward. Understand? Okay. So, watch me. You try to move your form like that. It's wrong. I mean, pull the left hand forward like this. Right there. What many people try to do like this. That's why their wrist and elbow is complicated. So, right there and do. So, you can, two good points. You can break his balance easily, and you can save your wrist and elbow. Pull the left hand forward to roll your wrist and forearm. Okay? Keep going. Any question about it? Is it works so well for everyone? Do you have any problem? To be quiet. It, it reminded me to study in a, in a class. I'm afraid, I was afraid that my teacher asked me something. I want to avoid this <laughs> kind of that. All right, anyway, answer me. Next is a variation. So I'll say it again. I'm going to show you first. I like this technique too. So, uh, you know, when I was in elementary school, I, uh, I started to learn judo, left to morto seyonage. But uh, when I uh, grew up, I did right side uchimata. I changed my technique completely. So I like to do left side seyonage. So uh, anyway, so, <coughs> Two ways. If you grab the sleeve on the elbow, you should put your form inside. Okay? If you grab the bottom of the sleeve, you straight his arm and then outside. Don't, don't confuse. If you grab sleeve on the elbow, you put your form inside. If you grab the bottom of the sleeve, Straight 
his arm to break the balance higher. You can distinguish. All right? I'm going to show you. Right here, I wrap the flip on the elbow. Like that. Inside. Inside. Okay? This side. And then do that. Or, if you grab the sleeve, bottom of the sleeve, and then pull the sleeve and then straight his arm and then turn. Like this. Right there. Like this. Like this. Alright? Don't confuse. But keep point the same way, the hips. You have to turn your hips like this. You will do like this, right? The same way. Put here and then turn your hips like this. Block his hips. So you can throw him left or right. Understand? You can throw him left or right. Doesn't matter. But you have to block his hip like the completely. If you put your hip, your partner is easy to escape. That's why the step is like this. So he tried to move left and then block his way. So you can throw him to left or right. If I block him too deep, I can throw him the other way. Understand? Okay. I'm going to show you the other way. Like this, like that. I can throw him right side. Or if I block completely like that, I can throw him left. So key point, just block his hips. Get the step, right step, to left, and then turn right to deceive your partner. Understand what I mean? So uh, this is the base way. When you grab here, you, my partner move like this. I grab here, and then do that. Or so when, when my partner tries to move like this, then grab here, pull back, grab here. Then pull back, break it, then do that, hop. And then go throw him. I'm going to explain to you three ways. Put your, your forearm inside if you grab sleeve on the elbow. In the second way, if you grab the bottom of the sleeve, straight your partner's arm and then move like this. Keep straight his arm like this. Okay? Not to defend. If you bend his arm, he can defend, he can use his power. So, keep straight and then do like that. If it's a bend, then pull it, pull, pull it down like this. So straight, 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 like that. For third, you can right here, pull down and move your hand like this. Right. Right there. So inside of the elbow, put down and then like that. Understand? Right there. You see that? Well, his body is moving. Like this, right? Like right that. And then inside. And then lift. You make him move like this. You grab here, put it down, and then up. And do that. So Try to pull or push your partner opposite to your techniques. If you want to throw your partner in front of you, you have to push him and then pull, pull him to throw him in front of you. If you push him to back, pull him. And then, and then you try to move back and then push him to do back techniques. This same thing. Put him down, he try to move up and then help him, turn your body, and then do this technique. 
Okay? So I explained three ways. Wrap the sleeve on the elbow, print to inside, and then grab the bottom sleeve and spray. And then do that. This is the old version. Many people start teaching me. Grab here and then straight index finger and then move like this and then do that. Too easy. But recently, not many, not many people use it. Anyway, you should know. When people move their finger like that, it means that I want to do this technique. Okay? So here is great. Then do that. In a second, wrap the sleeve under, and pull down, and then up, and move. And then do that. Okay, do you understand? Right? When you touch this leg, would they say that in German? You touch the leg? No. You know, Many people ask me, what do you think about new rule? I say it is very confusing. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes no. <laughs> but actually, I do my technique and then I touch the leg is okay. For example, when I do Ochigari and then grab the leg, it is working. Right? But if I grab the leg and then do something, it's illegal. <laughs> Got a paint, uh, penalty. But in this case, I do say inage and then help. So my hand is helping. So it is okay. <laughs> Understand? And then when I do, uh, that's I think of my ash. He grabbed my leg. It is okay, but some referee no. If you unlock, you lose your game. If you're lucky, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what is me? If you want to be champion, you have to have three locks. What is that? First, lefty. I have to meet good lefty. <laughs> If I make bad lefty, I lose my competition. Lefty luck. The second, what? What? The draw of the tournament? Yes. <laughs> tournament luck. If I, you know, I'm, I'm great. My technique against him, but not for him. But if I marry him, I lose my game. But if, if he marry him, if, if he met him, be for me, I'm lucky. So, you have to have a great, you know, tournament things. What is that? Third. What is third? No, you have to have a technique, great technique. It's basic. Ability is basic. I mean luck. Technique is not luck. Referee and tournament, what? Think about it. Just luck. Just luck. <laughs> you know, it's a dangerous area. I put here and they throw. I got a Ippon. But Lefri didn't see it. Ippon, for the money. Finish. I'm luck. <laughs> and the partner, he has a own bad luck. I saw you put your foot here. Complain a lot, but <coughs> competition is gone. You have a three lucks. I have only two rocks, that's why I cannot, I couldn't get a gold medal in Olympics. <laughs> but I have three rocks in World Championship, that's why I got two gold medals. <laughs> Play for God a lot, you will get good rocks. Anyway, I'm joking. Okay, I'm gonna give you a 10 minutes, practice three points. Grab the sleeve on the elbow, and then grab the bottom sleeve, and then grab the on, uh, sleeve on the elbow, and then put the down and up. Grab the left hand on the arms like this. You see that? Like that. Don't confuse. Many people grab the right ears. It's wrong. Grab directly like this. And then under. Okay? Very simple. Hold arm from outside to inside, behind, <coughs> like this. 
right there. Understand? Hold arm to go through behind neck. And then put your head inside. Okay? Wrap like this. While you hold your partner's arm, put your head and then roll like this. And then come your body. And it's very simple, huh? So, uh, basically, you have to understand the Newaza compared to Tachiwaza. It's totally different. So, Tachiwaza means you have to catch the timing perfectly. Or you have to deceive your partner in Tachiwaza for your techniques. And then you have to be nice in Tachiwaza. But in Newaza, it's different. You don't need to catch the timing. You don't need to save your time. Just wrap a part of your partner's body, like uh, elbow or shoulder, or a part of body. And then lock the other body, and then open the other body. And then lock the other body, and then open the other body. And then lock up the other body, and open the body. And then eventually, you hold where you want to get on your partner. So chalk for chalk, for <coughs> armbar for pinning. So you don't need to control whole body like that. So can you turn around, turn around, right down, turn right down, right down, right down, right down. Right down. So many people try to control whole body like that. It is wrong. So if, if I control his body here, which means that I can control whole his body. If I control his only head, which means that I can control his whole body. Don't try to control whole body, to hold like this. Do you understand? And then, so you have to make your partner uncomfortable. If your partner is comfortable, he can use all his power to get up. If your partner is uncomfortable, he cannot use all his power. Maybe he can use 30%, 40% of his power, which means that he cannot get up. But if he is very comfortable, he can use 100% of his power to get up, which means that make him painful <coughs> in Newaja. Understand? Painful, make him uncomfortable means that painful. Choking is not nice. <laughs> it's not comfortable. <laughs> you have to make him uncomfortable, painful. Armba is also not nice. <laughs> you know, painful. You have to do that in Newaja. Pinning means that, too. If you make him you, uh, pinning nicely, comfortably, he can get up. But if you make him painful, he cannot use his power. Turn on and break down. So if you pin like this, it's very nice. So he can use his power, right? But if I hold it and then push his chin like that, it's very painful and uncomfortable, which means that he concentrates on his chin, so he cannot get up. Well, grab like this, and then put my elbow on his stomach to, you know, he, he cannot breathe, which means that he cannot get up. So, Judo is a very gentle sport, very, very nice, except Newaja. If you want to be good at Newaja, you have to know how to make him painful in this Newaja. Don't forget. If he is very comfortable, he can use all his power. You have to make him not to use 100% of his power. It is Newaja. Okay? It's not gentle. That's why many people like to do Jujis. So painful, aggressive, it is good for fighting. Many people thought that. But a little bit different meaning. Do you understand? So make him uncomfortable all the time. So in this case, grab, okay. grab the wrapper here, wrapper here, down, hold. You, your partner is not foolish, is not stupid. He knows everything what you know in judo. Do you understand? So grab here, if I hold like this, like this, he will defend. Understand? 
while you are rolling, you hold his arm and you go through your hands behind his neck. All right? Hold wrap the lapel here and then put your head on time. And then do that you know, like this. So you, you see that his body he looks uncomfortable, huh? If we like this, he's very comfortable together. So turn his body like that and then make him like this. So he his body make it like that. Which means that he cannot use his palm together. For to the 25 seconds. There you go. You get it but and then let him go. It is judo. Understand? So you're gonna check all the time whether he is comfortable or not. If he is comfortable, your technique is wrong. If he is very painful, uncomfortable, your technique is right. You're gonna check yourself. Do you understand? Okay. Well, I'm gonna show one more time and then I will give you a few minutes to do that. Drop the wrapper like this, and then put him down, and hold his arm from outside inside. Just put your head. You have to put your head inside. If you put your head here, you cannot roll him. Okay? Put your head inside like this. And then, okay? Do you have any question about it? No? Okay, I'm going to give you five minutes. Practice this technique. What I do carefully is copy my technique completely. In that other sort of technique, if you watch my technique carefully, you cannot copy that at once. But in Nevada, if you watch the techniques carefully, you can copy that completely, 100%. Understand? I think most of them do this technique well, maybe more than I expect. Right. Right, better than my dojo students. <laughs> completely. Okay. Okay. okay, make a proper song. It's the same way to make pin with the people one. Okay? So stand up. Grab the red pen like that. Okay, watch my hand like this. Not this, right? Somebody tried to cry like this. Right here. And then you know when you try to do your techniques from this position, you have to be behind him. So many people make a mistake, be here, like this. So your body is too higher, so he, he can escape easily. So you have to put your chest behind his, near here, all the time. So he can, you can control him. If you try to move left, you can follow him. Or right, or follow him easily. But if you to go up, you cannot catch him. So behind him, here, all the time. Okay? They grab the red pair and then roll him and hook, hook the, his uh, belly and they control his leg and move your right hand like this. They grab the belt. Okay? You move your right hand to hook the belly and then put it down. And they controlled his shoulder using the chin. And then make the pin. Like that. Just different hook the armpit or grab the red pair. Or uh, belt. But start it from behind him. The before one, you start it in front of him. It's a little bit different but the same way. Understand? Grab the red pair. Like that, and then roll him, and put the armpit, like that's control. And then either way, if you want to do this way, like this, and then move your left hand. If you want to put it down left, move, and then grab the belt. And then do that, and then print down. And then control his shoulder, so he cannot move this way, because my body blocked his way. So he can only move this way. That's why you wrap the belt, hold this arm. If you go like this, you 
and easy to escape. That's why hold this arm to drop the belt so you cannot move that way. And then control his shoulder with your chin like this. He cannot move left too, he cannot move right. Right? So I hold him. And then move the, and then make a pain. Understand? You know, if you want to be able to do Nevada well, you have to be able to use your leg like your hand. Which means that you have four hands. One, two, three, four. Leg is a leg, hand is a hand is a hand. You cannot do Nevada well. You have to be able to use your leg like a hand. It is a waja. So you have to hold his leg easily. Well, some of these different techniques, you can use your leg to hold arm or neck and body. So, use your foot like a hand. So in this case, you hold his leg like that, or like that, or like that, either way, to control his leg. So if you didn't control his leg, he could get up. Escaped. Understand? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna show you one more time. Okay, I'm gonna give you five minutes to do that. Wrap the rapper and then roll him and then hold him like that. Can you move? Like this, hold, like this, like this. And hold, wrap the belt, hold him, and then hook the animal, put him down. Come hold the shoulder. If you put your head here, he tried to uh, bridge it. Switch it like that. So you cannot turn your body. So put your head here. And then turn your head. Don't make a mistake. Many people make a mistake, put their head beside of his head to left. Put your head right to control the shoulder with your chin. Okay? I'm gonna give you five minutes to practice this technique. Thank you. Okay, it's also an easy one. Drop the belt like this and hook the armpit. So you should be here. Yeah, go on here. Okay, come on this side. To make a big hole to get up. Do you understand what I mean? So don't allow any rooms in Newaja for your partner. If you allow that much rooms, he tried to make a hole to bigger, 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 and then he escaped. So you have to tight him with your body all the time. Okay? So wrap the belt, hook the armpit like this. If you allow many rooms, you can get up. Tight it. But many people make a mistake, grab the sleeve or judogi because they are uncomfortable to roll him. Don't forget, don't grab the judogi and slip, just to hook it. Because you have to go this way continually. If you grab it, you cannot use your power to continue. Okay, grab the belt, hook the armpit, and put your, your knee on the his stomach. This part. Okay? So put you here. And put your elbow on his back and then make make sound <laughs> means he cannot breathe so you can control him you know what your partner is strong as much as you right the same strength same weight same size how you will control your partner make him not to move not to use his power so put your knee here and then down. Put your elbow on the back and hook the armpit. And then put your right foot inside. So you put your left foot outside. And then roll to right. Okay? Like this. Put here. And then roll. And then follow. And then your left knee, put, put his hips. That's the right attach it. Don't allow any rooms. Attach and then straight your right arm and then hook it. So I black his foil left and then right 
this way and then this way. So you cannot approach, he cannot approach me because I, I blocked his hips with my knee. If you didn't attach to your hips, you tried to get in my, get out my leg. All right, so here, in the straight. So you cannot move that way, this way. You can move only that way, but I'm heavier. I put my weight here. Like this. Or if you try to move back, put your hand. And then if you try to move this way, like this. If you try to bridge it to her, right, and like this. And then block this way. So he cannot move anywhere. Understand? All right, I'm gonna show you one more time. So when you are rolling, you have to push his thigh with your foot and push it to roll him. And then push the back with the elbow and then put your knee under his stomach and hold him. And then you can roll him easily. Understand? Okay. Wrap the belt. So put your knee, hold him. Hold the armpit and here, and then roll. And put your bang, left knee, attach the hip, then straight, and then do that. Hold it. Don't open your hand. Keep holding it. And then do that. Understand? Okay, I'm gonna give you five minutes to practice this technique. Try to roll. Do your best. Do your best. Do your best. Like, can I? Easy to roll. <laughs> it's not your best. <laughs> it's <a> competition. <laughs> okay. Do your best. Easy. I told you. <laughs> Defend like this. The same one. So if like this, I cannot roll him, right? Because he blocked my way. Right, do your best. I can't, right? <laughs> At the time, stop, don't move. Where is balance? Where his balance is moving? This way? No. Where? I try to roll him this way. Where his balance is moving? That way. Right? I try to break the, his balance here. So he has to try to defend, to move that way. Am I right? Are you sure? Yes, definitely. So try to roll him, but he's defending like this. I cannot roll him. At the time, stand up. You put your knee like this. What? At the time, turn your knees like that. Like that. Put his chin on your leg, okay? Try to roll, but he, I can't. So turn your knee like this, put his chin. Because he tried to up the head, why? He doesn't want to roll forward. So he up to his head. So easy to put his chin on my leg. Understand? Like this. And put your head inside, and then roll him the other way, reverse. I told you, you have to use his balance all the time in judo. It is judo. If he has a hundred power, he do his best to, to move his balance to backward. He uses a hundred powers. Am I right? And you're gonna add your power, your weight, to move backward. So like plus 100, 20, 40, you know, 50. Understand? Try it that way, and then turn your head, put your head, and then put his head like this. Right? And then roll, and then do the same. Understand? Okay, try again. So I can control his neck and head with my chin. In the second, I'm going to use his balance to move backward, to roll him, and then make the same position. Understand? I cannot lead your face 
whether you understand or not. So a little bit difficult. Try to write this. You can turn your head. Like this. All right. I'm going to show you one more time. And then I'm going to leave you like this. Write this. So the more he tries to defend it like this, the better you can turn him easily. Understand? Okay? All right, I think you understand completely. I will check your techniques. Okay, I'm going to in five minutes, practice this thing. So you know what? Uh, if you do one technique well in Nevada, you can use the one technique to the other techniques. It is connected to the other techniques continually. Understand? Don't, se don't think to separate your techniques in Nevada. Every technique is connected. Understand? So this is a basic way of Sambaku. Wrap the uh, belt and sleeve. They break the balance. Okay? Wrap the belt, wrap the sleeve, they break the balance, make a hole for your hair. And then hook it. And then, you know, when you hook it, your hair and knee to cross. So if it's wide, you cannot make him painful. Don't forget, you have to make him painful all the time. Cross him, so put his uh, shoulder and neck inside. Cross your knee and, knee and heel. Break the balance and then cross your knee. I complete contact. You, you see that this point? Yeah? My knee and heel attached, right? Like this, you grab the bell, you sleep. Turn him over in a diagonal. Don't try to turn to right. This way he's a little bit strong. When you attack your partner, you have to fight weak point. You have to attack the weak point. If you try to attack the strong point, it's not working. You have to find weak point to attack. Or if you cannot the weak point, you make weak point. Understand? Grab right here. This is a weak point to defend. Right here, and then turn him over. When you turn your partner, you don't open your leg. Cross, keep attached between your heels and knee. Don't open your knee. It is a major mistake. Many athletes, they, when they try to turn over, why? So open their leg. So your partner is easy to escape. So cross, keep this position. Understand? Good job. Up here, attach, the turn it over, and then close, <coughs> attach it. Right? And then hold it, grab the wrist, then put your hand, and then put your hand like this. Grab the judogi, and grab the belt, and open your foot, then make a pin. Understand? I'm going to show you one more time. Grab the belt, slip, and break the balance, and attach it, and then turn him over, and then keep this position. And then wrap it, grab the wrist, put your left hand here, and grab the judogi, and then grab the belt, and open your foot and we should be on top. Understand? Okay, you have to be able to do that. If you don't do, if you cannot use technique, you cannot move the next techniques. It's not working too. You have to, okay? I believe. When you try to do sangaku, to turn him over that way, but he is defending. How to defend? <coughs> Huh? Okay, I'll let you know how to defend. Oh. Like that, <laughs> like that, straight. So I cannot turn him over. Am I right? Yeah. 
Are you sure? Yes. yes. <laughs> I cannot honeymore if he defend like it's a higher, higher. So I cannot turn him over. Right? Yeah, you have to uh, expect that when you turn your partner. That's why this is very strong. He will defend like that, but don't move. This is a little bit, you know, weak than straight. That's why you have to turn him over in a diagonal. But still, he, he can defend. Use his right arm and right leg. Understand? Okay. Try to defend like that, but you cannot turn him over like this. Defend a little bit. I can't. You see that? My balance completely to the left, but I cannot turn him over. At the time, hook the armpit like this. Don't make a mistake. Don't allow the, his armpit or arm to go out. Just hook like that. It's a key point, all right? And then put your head inside. And then roll that way. And then do samgakku, same thing. Okay? Try again. Try to do samgakku, but I cannot. So hold this. Oh, armpit with your hips. And then turn your, put your head inside. And then roll like this. And then do same way. Understand? So this is hochikomi. It's not a, you know, competition, nandori. So help each other. So if, if you, your partner try to do samgaku, defend like this. And then hook the armpit and then roll that way to do samgaku the same way. Understand? Okay, I'm going to give you five minutes. Practice this way samgaku. Understand how to do samgaku? Hi. Okay, thank you. You grab the belt, and you grab the sleeve, you try to do samgaku, right? Hi. And you try to turn him over, but you can't. So that's why you turn over. But if you try to turn over, turn your mat too. Or both, both, both. I just, I cannot turn him over, right? The time, sit down. Just sit down to your side, right? And then switch your leg, wrap the foot, and then wrap it. Okay? And two way, you can turn this way or this way, either way. If you want to turn this way, you grab the pants and pull to your head, grab the pants and pull to your head like this. And then turn him over. And then do that. Okay? Come back again. Like this, you cannot reach, move that way. So you cannot reach there, right? You can't. At the time, straight your stomach, like this. And you turn it over like this. And then do that. All right? Okay. Understand? <laughs> OK, you want it. Do you like somebody over there? OK. From <laughs> here. You try to do samgaku, but you can't. So you try this way, hook it straight. At the time hooked it, you switch your foot and then wrap it. Wrap the pads to move your head like this. Right? You can turn it over like that, or just straight your stomach in the round. So your partner's body like this. So, he's pain definitely, right? <laughs> he suffered a lot because of you. <laughs> huh? He's a volunteer. So you do your best to practice this technique, okay? So you talk to your partner in the uncomfortable, in the painful. That's why you can come to him whatever you want, easily. Understand? Rock it. Okay. Right, next. You try to do samgaku. Am I right? Hi. Huh? Hi. But if you miss his head, you cannot do samgaku. Am I right? So, so how can I do samgaku? Who knows that? Nobody know? You can't. <laughs> you cannot do samgaku. 
All right. At the time, if you miss your the head, you're gonna do arm samgam. Okay. Actually, yeah, it's like that. You just hold the defender, hold your his arm samgaku, right? Actually, before the arm samgaku, we try to do arm bar right here. We do arm bar, but we cannot do arm bar. Am I right? So I skipped it arm bar. <laughs> so he defend. I tried to arm bar, so he grabbed the belt. Or so I cannot do arm bar, right? At the time, do arm sangaku. And hold your body like this. And then push his head to make room for your body. Okay? And then grab hand like this. Uh, quickly. Oh, it looks like. Right here, right like here. You see that? You step back. Move. Move. Quickly. More, 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 more. Okay, back up. Back up. Oh, back up more. You grab the pants like this. Huh? And then turn your head like this. And then put your foot here. And then roll. And then, make, and then put your elbow on his chest. And make him painful. Like and then push there. This is not a legal. It's okay. You can do that. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you don't like somebody, you can do that. <laughs> like that. And then push his head like this. Alright? And then grab the pants. Grab the pants like this. The close one. Right? And then turn your head. And actually, I can amber his shoulder. But in judo, technically you cannot do amber on shoulder, right? You can do. You cannot. You cannot amber his shoulder. But in this case, I'm I'm not tending to amber. I'm just roaring. If he doesn't want to be ambered, just so he can roll, just follow me. Right? If he doesn't follow me, the shoulder will be injured. That's why he has to follow me. So it is not armbar technique. It is a roaring. Right? Push his head, grab hand, and then roll. And hold it, and then push it, and grab it. Okay. Key point, if his head inside, he could easily to escape. So that's why you have to put your arm inside, and also put his head outside to grab the pants. If you write that, Easy to escape. Understand? So drop the pants inside. And then actually, like this, and then do aggressive things, but you don't need to run. <laughs> you will aware that later, if you get a black belt, you know how to make it painful battle. But you're a kid, you have to run nicely. All right? I'm gonna show you. you try to do samgaku, but you miss your, his head like this. And then do armbar, but he can, you cannot straight his arm. And turn your body, and then push his head, grab the pants, and turn your head, and move like this. And then grab the leg, and then like this. <laughs> but if, he, if your partner try to get up, you push his chest, <laughs> but he'll stay, just stay. Depends on. All right? You have to save your energy for next competition. Yes. Oh. Okay. I didn't want to. I don't want to test you all the time. So how you will defend if I try to do this technique? Defend. 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 Okay. Have fifty percent right. You have to go up the head. Go up. Right. Straight. <laughs> So I want to roll him, so he has to stretch his chest, right? Am I right? Yes. If he bends his back or head, I can roll him easily. Huh? Oh. Straight. And he blocked his way with his leg. Up, 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 like this. So I cannot do your best. I cannot roll. Can I? I can. Do your best. Do your best. You need food? Yeah. 
I can't. Try. Can I? I can't. At the time, at the time, you grab the pants, the other pants, not close on, farther on, grab the head, and turn your hips to like this. Okay? And then push him to back. And put your elbow on his uh, neck. And then push it to his neck. Understand? Yeah. <laughs> he understands completely. <laughs> but he cannot do that. Try to do and try to roll. So I can. Do your best. I can. And, and grab the pants, hold it, and then turn your hips like this. And make a room here. And then put, his, put your elbow on his neck. <laughs> to have to understand, to push you is not intending. <laughs> understand? <laughs> yes. Is it? Try to roll it, but I can defend completely. Over the your push go up. Go up. So, so I cannot roll him. Right? So you so I tried to grab the hand, but he knows this technique. So he straight his leg both of you. Straight, straight, two, back, completely. Straight, straight, straight. Like this. So I cannot reach any foot. Is it? Huh? <coughs> and then put your elbow here. Here, okay? Put your elbow here and then push him. Right? And then roll him. And grab the belt. And then, and then make a beat. Okay? Do that. So roll him his defense, right? So try to reach pant, but I can't. Then grab it and then push him. Right? And then roll him. Right there. And grab the belt. And then make a Understand? If you lose the timing, the chance, you can defend the other way. So you have to get the chance. While he is defending right this or right this, at the time you're going to do that. OK? So you, you have to be able to use proper way in the, the other situation, in the certain situation. Okay? All right, I'm going to give you three minutes. Practice this. Hopefully, if you cannot do this technique, any technique, so let me know when I, you know, call you. Just let me know it's your problem, and I will tell you how to fix it. Okay? No problem? Perfect. You are a perfect student, <laughs> perfect listener. I'm very happy to understand my uh, lecture completely. <laughs> All right, do that. You try to do samgaku, right? So you defend like this. But I try to roll that way. So he straight your leg, both legs. So usually they do that. So I cannot roll him straight, straight your leg, defend. <laughs> so I can't, right? So at the time, switch your foot and hold his leg and then rock it. And grab the pants, they pull to your head, like that. And then grab the pants, like that. And hold it, and then turn him over, like this. OK? You <laughs> <laughs> try? If I try to reach it, but run away. I cannot reach it, right? I cannot reach it. Put your hand, and you straight your stomach, like this. Stretch. And then turn him over right there. <laughs> okay? I told you, if you <coughs> lock a part of your partner's body, which means that you control your, part, you control your partner completely. But many people mistake to lock two parts, three parts, four parts at once. It's a mistake. You're going to just lock a part of the body. That's enough. Don't make a mistake to control two part, three part, four part. Just one part is enough. And if you lock the other part, you open the other part. If you lock the other part, open the other part. 
Well, I can stand my feet down. <laughs> it's very important. Don't try to lift at once. Hold things. Wrap belt, the sleeve, and the wrap it. Try to turn it over when I can. So try to roll it so, like this. And then sit down. Just sit down like that, to the side. Right? And then switch leg and you grab the foot, they wrap it. They grab the pant, they pull, and pull, and they make a parallel, and they turn him over. Okay? Like this. But if I can reach, to run away, <coughs> run away, it's okay. Just follow, switch your stomach, and then roll. And completely, technically, grab the heel. And then kind of armbar like this. It's very painful. I told you, they are just not gentle. <laughs> you have to make him painful all the time. Grab the ankle and the kind of armbar <coughs> is hips. So he cannot just start, start completely. It is Samgaku, uh, third time Samgaku. Okay? Question? No? Okay, I'm gonna give you five or four minutes. Practice the technique. Uh, defend. If I try to hook the armpit with my hair, he pushed my hair to outside like this, right? So I cannot do. I cannot hook the armpit. It's your problem, right? When I do, they do. Too. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So right. This is the best way to defend against samgaku. So uh, okay. Uh, usually I didn't. I don't want to teach the how to defend, but uh, you have a question that I explain to you. So when your partner try to do samgaku against you, the best way of defending is to put it down and then do that. He cannot do samgaku completely. If you defend this position, he cannot do. Many people defend like this. That's why they can do um, uh, samgaku. But if you fall down like this and put your hand uh, armpit, he cannot do samgaku. Because uh, one of the great uh, rivals, when I was athlete, he does hangbaku great, perfect. So he knows that I don't like to do uh, newaja. So he tried to do samgaku. He he was great at uh, newaja samgaku. So if I fall down, I do like this. He cannot do uh, samgaku. Understand? Why? Who, who, who is that? <laughs> uh, he got a gold medal in Asian game. He got 42 wins. Never failed. And he uh, beat the Goga two times. He really, really good. He got a gold medal in Perry Opens twice. His name is Yun Dong Shik. It's great. He beat the Jeon Gyo too. You know. So I had to avoid his Samgak. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it. Yeah, he, he, actually, he was, he was not good at uh, Newaja. But he found out I didn't like Newaja. That's why he tried to never the practice without me. You know, every national members, member practiced together in South Korea at the sports center. But I didn't see it. He practiced Newaja a lot. After I, I'm gone, he did it, practiced it. One day I lost my game against Samgaku. I found it. <laughs> like that. Yeah. So if your partner defender like this, you're going to find a weak point. It's a strong point, a strong way of against the samgaku, so you're going to do the other techniques. That's why we have to know at least two or three or four techniques enough. Most of the athletes use less than five techniques to get gold medal. They don't use 10, 15 techniques. They use only four or five, less than five techniques. Me too. Right? But you have to know all techniques to defend. Grab here and then grab here, then lift him, to your right inside, to your left, and then turn him over. Follow him to chop and pin. It's very simple. Okay? Everybody know this technique? Okay, try. I'm gonna give you two minutes to practice this technique. Practicing. Okay. Okay, stand up. Grab the belt here, uh, uh, wrap it here, Get down, grab here, and then lift him, put the right foot inside. Left side and then turn him over like this. And then follow him. And then chalk and then pin. Okay? I'm gonna give you two minutes and see if you can defend. 
Do your best. I don't want to test you, but I cannot lift him. Huh? Right. Defend. I can't. All right? Just defend. All right? At the time, straight your leg like this. Push. You can't push it and roll him. And choke. Choke and pinning. Okay? Because I think about <coughs> pushing like that. So break his balance that way. It's easy. Then lift him. Understand? So I try to lift him. I can't. So straight my left, left leg, and then break his balance, put his right arm here, right leg here, and then turn him. And chop. And chop. And then break his balance, and then put your right leg behind his neck, and then turn him over, and then chop or pin him. Understand? Next to armbar. You know what? If you do this armbar correctly, you can do armbar well in most of armbar techniques. It's a very foundation, it's a very basic way, basic techniques of, of armbar. Okay? Or you put your foot here, okay? And defend like this. And hold him, uh, defend. Defend. Do the armbar. Do the armbar. Inside. Put the armbar. Yeah, armbar. Okay, like that anyway. You hold it and then talk and then push his head with your leg. Armbar, if you straight, easy to armbar, you know. <laughs> Defend your arm. No. Okay, like this. And then put his head right there. Good. Push his head and then hop down. And then, you know, key point, many people try to grab the pants. It's a mistake. It's a common mistake. You have to put your hands on the leg to use for leverage, you know, to straight out his leg, uh, arm. Okay. Many people try to grab the pants, but it means stop your power. So hold your power, no. Just open your finger and then put your hand on the leg to Straight his arm to use for leverage to you know for his arm. Don't grab the pants right. Put your hand on the leg. It's a, many people make a mistake to grab the pants. It's a common mistake. Put your hand on the leg. Just I'll let you know the key point. Because you know judo techniques so well. Grab it. Speak. Put your foot here, so uh, you block his hips. He cannot move around. And then uh, hook it, and then put your hand here. Don't grab. And push his head in the tongue, like this. And you grab the pants, and you pull. You grab the pants, pull it, and you push it, and then make a power to roll easily, like this. Right? And you grab the pants continually. Don't open uh, your hand. Many people make a mistake, common mistake to open their hand. Keep grabbing the pants. And then move your left leg and then rock it. Defend your arm. Like rock it. You, my left leg go under. My right leg over like this. If you like this, it's easy to open my leg. So you lock your leg the close to your knee, like this. And then open your hand. After that, open my, open my hand, and then like this. Okay? And then many ways to straight his arm. But I'll let you know only two ways. Less of the we have maybe about four, five ways to straight his arm. But I'll let you know two ways, is, which is my favorite. Like this, put your hand and then move down to close to close to his wrist and then put your arm here above the over the elbow and then grab here like that and then open it 
Okay, wrap it. Perfect. The best way to defend, right? Like this. So move your move your hand like this. Put your hand. Do you, do you remember? Put my hand on my leg. Then move like this. Move. And then put my arm here. Put down. Then grab it. Then open it. Open it. Twist it. Grab it. Put here. Then open it. And then weight down. And then up. And then put your thumb. Go up. <coughs> Easy to unbar. And then second way. Grab it. And then grab it. So I can go with my hand. So they usually grab defender like this. So when you do like this. Grab here. And then move my hand. And then do that. But sometimes cross it. Cross it. Don't have any rooms. I cannot, you know, go this way. Any rooms. At the time, like this, and then grab here, and then right yeah. down. So you follow me, and then straight your left to left, straight my leg to push the chin, right there. Okay? And then do that. Only two ways. Grab here, I can uh, move my hand, and then grab my left hand, and then right down, he follow me, and then push it. Push it, not hit, just push it, the chin, and then do that. Okay? First one, move your hand. So if you grab like this, then move hand like that. And then push it, and grab it, and then open it, and do that, the umber. All right? It's my favorite way, or wrap it, tight it, and grab it. You know, you have to. Hunt your back to create much more power. If it's straight, it doesn't work. I told you this theory yesterday. You have to hunt your back. High and then lay back and then straight your chest and back knee to create much more power. So his chin is weak compared to my leg and body. Easy to thread his arm. Okay, two ways. Let me explain to you one more time. The other direction. Okay, go okay. Yeah. Drop here and then hold his arm, uh, uh, leg, like a block leg, and then right this. Sit down and push his head. And then don't grab the pants. And then push his head like this. Easy to roll. When you grab the pants, you grab it. You got it, then make a parallel. It's easy to roll in. Like this. Don't open hand. Can you try to escape? She can. Try. Do your best. If grab like this, he can. Try. Try. Do, do your best. He can. And then move your leg. Now hold it. And then open the hand. And Move your hands. Mm -hmm. If you like this, make a room like this. Like that. Then push it and then open it. Wrap it. Tie your wrapper. Wrap it and then right down. You follow. Then straight your chest and knee and umber. And further, we have only 30 minutes. I'm going to explain at once all the things. Defend. Do your best. I cannot do that. And Wrap the belt like this, so tight, right? Like this, and grab the pant, and then put it to my chest, grab the pant, put it to my chest, and then put your arm, uh, armpit on, on his leg. And you grab the belt here, and you open your foot, and you put here, put here, and you put your weight and balance on his stomach, and then make a pin. And then watch his uh, arm to open. Watch it like that. And if you lose his power, open his. He tried to get up because it's a pain, right? At the time, switch, and then the umbra. And then or pain. Depends on your partner's movement. Okay? It's a little bit complicated in many ways. If you do this technique completely, you can do any umbra. Many ways. Like, uh, you know, this way, umbra or grab here, and do armbar, any kind of armbar. Or 
you know, when you try to chill, choke, you can't you know, push down and you know, do that armbar. You know, many ways. But basically, you have to be able to this way. If you don't, if you can this way armbar, the other armbar is not working. Do you understand? Okay, I'm gonna give you 10 or 15 minutes. Practice this way of armbar, okay? It's a little bit difficult, but if you understand how this technique works, you understand most of the techniques in Nevada. You know, it's very foundation basic, but it's not easy. It's very important. You have to be able to do this technique if you want to do Nevada well. All you have to do to, to defend against people. Okay? I have a 10 minutes more. Uh, I will. Uh, teach you simple techniques, one or two or three, depending on how fast you understand these techniques. It's very easy, so less than 10 minutes, okay? You know what, uh, if somebody do Nevada well, they start to write down to do Nevada like this. They don't like to attack partner from behind his partner or in front. They like to start this position, okay? And grab the, so I just teach you the tips. I don't have enough time. Grab the sleeve on the elbow, like this, and grab here, right? And then try to control like this. You know, you have to be able to use your foot, like your hand. That's why people like to attack from this position. So I can have many hands like this, and then like this, and then like this. I can control anything like this, you know. That's why people like to do Nevada from this position. That so many the partner try to hold my leg like this and then turn, turn me over. Over there. Like this. And they try to do the other techniques. Do you understand this situation? Mm -hmm. Right? At the time, try to write this and then put here and then I let him do this way. And then move right there. Right? And hold his leg and then do and then choke. Okay? Were you choked? But the other people look not believe. <laughs> hold, hold the pipe. Don't be afraid. Like this. And then allow him to do it. And then hold his head like this. The tongue, the push it. And, okay. <laughs> I'll get two things. <laughs> okay? Just allow him to turn me over. Okay? It's kind of painting like this. And then hold like this. And then over. And then hold it. And then choke. Choke. And then push the straight. Choke. Right? Serious? Looks like you can turn around. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Try, allowed him to hold my leg to turn me over, and then like this, and then hold it, and control his leg or uh, hips with your foot here, and then straight, straight, straight. You push the chalk, push and chalk. Understand? Just allow him, it's quick. Tips is not a, you know, full version techniques. It's not, just tips make the situation. I'm going to give you two minutes. You grab the here, and then push it the knee like this, and then pat the right pedal, and then do this, and then hold it, and then put your head here, and then do that, and then choke. So I hold his leg completely like this, or like this. Then he cannot move, and then choke. All right? Right here, right here, and then push, do that. Hold it, put your head here, and then do that. So, like this, like this, like that, like that. You grab the left pair, pull, and then, okay, like that, like that. Snap, like this, and then print down. Print it, and choke it. Okay? All right. This is our last.